Hold me beer, will you? I'll be back. Art, 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 art 101 with Mr. Burger. <laughs> friends and welcome back to another exciting installment of Art 101 with me, Mr. Berger, a professional artist and educator attempting to bring you the best in art historical content. I give you, he got guts, but in the brains department, you're like a man who took a high dive in a low world. <laughs> now, as always, I appreciate the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, and uh, anything that you want to provide uh, in that uh, general, yeah. Be a man, don't be a f So in the past, I've looked at Edgar Degas and Mary Cassatt individually, but today I'd like to look at a little girl in a blue armchair, a painting who, on the title card, it's a Mary Cassatt painting. But uh, we know now that Edgar Degas, her, for lack of a better term, her teacher, her educator, helped with that project. Let's look a little bit deeper at Little Girl in a Blue Armchair. When looking at works by Mary Cassatt, one of the quintessential canvases that really illustrates her work and style is Little Girl in a Blue Armchair. A few years back, the work was taken for a cleaning at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., and it was revealed that not only did Mary Cassatt work on that piece, but so did her colleague, Edgar Degas. Still alive out there? Good. An artist's brushstroke is as identifiable as a signature, and the trained eye can pinpoint an artist's stroke, and the trained eye can identify a foreign stroke. His work in the negative space is somewhat inconsequential to the whole of the work. However, it does say something about the trust that these artists had in one another. In 2014, I was able to travel out to Washington, D.C. to see a dual show of their works, and it was a huge illustration of their artistic relationship and the interconnected nature of these two artists. Now, Mary Cassatt was originally from Pittsburgh, and she traveled out to Paris where she would eventually meet Degas. This is the beginning of a deep relationship that would last some 40 years. An illustration of that is that Degas would oftentimes get his friends to model in his paintings, but no one appears more frequently than Mary Cassatt. She is the subject of at least eight of his works, but her likeness appears in many, many more than that. Trees are like all of us, they need friends. Now that is a fascinating story. <laughs> <laughs> 